Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we're going to flash the Jetson TK1 development kit using Jetpack 2.0. Let me show you the setup. This is the Jetson. It's connected to this display over here. This is a PC running Ubuntu 14.04. It's connected to this display. Both of these computers are connected to this Ethernet switch. And this is a shark with a friggin laser beam on its head. That part's optional, but they're always good to have around. Let's get started. We go to the NVIDIA Embedded Computing Developer Sites. We download Jetpack 2.0. Let's copy that to our home folder. and open our install guide. Let's open up a terminal. We have to change the permissions of the file we just downloaded. And then we're going to run that file. Next. We want to select Jetson TK1. Next, we're going to read the license agreements in detail and take notes. Yes, they're there, except, okay. Host installation complete. So that means that the PC is ready to flash the TK1. Hit OK. Next, network layout. This matches our particular layout. Both of the devices are connected to the same switch. Next. 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 Okay, we're ready to place the device into forced USB recovery mode. So let's turn off the Jetson. We'll take the supplied programming cable. We plug in the USB port of the PC. And then we plug the Jetson in. Let me give you a close up of that. We take the Mini B USB cable and plug it into the port here. It's next to the audio. This is connected to the PC, as we did earlier. We hold down the force recovery button, then we hit the power button, 
release the force recovery button and we should be good to go. Okay, let's check to see if it's there. Let's open up a terminal. We type it LS USB. And there it is. So we're good to go. Close that. Hit return. We should be getting ready for the cold boot. Is it a good sign? And the desktop comes up. Looks like it's getting ready to push all the software over, starting with CUDA. When CUDA installed, it started up this little sample program, the feedback particle sample. Let's look at some others. Thank you. 